Ooh, that kind of spilled everywhere. All right. Ow. All right, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be watching Stranger Things Season 1, Episode 6. Yeah, Episode 6. Okay, in the last episode... So, basically, Nancy and Jonathan lo went looking for this monster. And, well, Nancy fucking found it. And... <laughs> They, and she found like this fucking portal in the tree and she crawled through it like she has some some courage to crawl through that shit i would have looked in there and be like nah i'm good i'm good but anyway but she saw the demon herself she saw it herself right and she started and then the demon went after her and then the hole that she was that she came through closed up and jonathan somehow didn't fucking see it all he had to do is look down to his left he would have saw it but okay okay but then the hole closed so i guess we'll see what happens to nancy so i'm gonna stop wasting time we're just gonna hop right into this episode if you want to watch the full length reaction that'll be available on patreon as well early access to the next two episodes will also be on patreon so let's get started i'm right here i'm right here nancy just fall she's right there but <sighs> oh my Fuck! <laughs> Why? Why do they do me like this? Why? God damn it. Oh, she sees- oh, the tree, yeah. It's not all the way closed yet. But you better crawl out there. You better go get your girl. Well, not your girl, but... Nancy, sprint. Bro, I'm dolphin diving through that shit. I don't give a fuck. Ah. Mm, that's that's her. That's her. Ah. Holy fuck. <laughs> what if he's like, ew, get the fuck off me. <laughs> Damn, save you just in time. Out here, she obviously doesn't want to talk that's, to you. That's not it. Oh, really? Because no girl would ever blow off King's speech. <laughs> she was acting weird. Oh, is he gonna find Jonathan and Nancy? And he's like, oh my god, you're fucking with him now, or, or something like that? <laughs> Bro, Steve, Steve has some balls. Go, driving to her house unannounced. And just sneaking up to her window. Oh, fuck. Ah, ah no. Oh. It's not like that, Steve, but that hurts drawing of a, an adult mm -hmm. and a child. It said 11 on it. Was it mm -hmm. on it? Was it good? It was a kid's drawing choice. It was stick figures. Dude, Will's a good drawer, okay? That's why she's asking. Get that. Yeah. Wasn't Will. This woman, Terry Ives, she claims to have lost her daughter, Jane. She sued Brenner. She Ooh. So Eleven's name Jane? I mean, what if this whole time I've been I've been looking for Will? I've been chasing after some other kid. You have, yep, that's exactly what you've been doing. Oh my god. Yeah, that shit would be fucking traumatizing. I can go home. I just Yeah, figured. no. I, I, just, I don't want to be alone. Aww. Do you? No. Uh, no. Jonathan and Nancy. I ship it. Okay, Jonathan has some balls sleeping on the floor right next to the bed. Like, fuck being that close to under the bed. After experiencing what you just experienced, fuck that. Can you just come up here? Uh, I knew she was going to say it. it uh, he doesn't get under the covers. He's, he's respectful. You can't get us in here. Can it? We don't know that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'd be fucking terrified to go to sleep. 
Yeah. The boys broke up last episode. I think that it lives there. It was feeding there. It was eating Barb. <laughs> no, just kidding. That means that if, if Will and Barbara... R.I.P. To hunt at night like a like a lion or a coyote. Okay. Hunting packs like that, man. You can lure it out. The deer. It was bleeding too. Mm-hmm. It's like a shark. It smells the blood. Oh yeah, Sharks exactly. At least we'll know it's coming. <laughs> My low key scared me. Yeah, I'm I'm getting dressed. Do my parents do the same shit? I'll have my door locked and like they'll try and open it and they can't because it's locked and then they'll just fuck it. they'll shake the fuck out of it. Oh, they're holding hands. Scott Clark? Uh, yes. The same Scott Clark who teaches science and AV at Hawkins Middle? The very same. Oh, wonderful. And we're making a new- Fuck do you want, bitch? It's how-to articles, which the kids write themselves. <sighs> That's neat. What we're really trying- this is a, Isn't this the fucking bitch that killed Frank? I think it is. She's an op. So, you know any kids you think might want to participate? Oh, I have a few in mind. <laughs> if that is the op, they're trapping the kids. I shouldn't have yelled at her. I never should have done that. You're right, Mike. 100%. All three of you were being a bunch of little assholes. I was the only reasonable one. But the bottom line is... Yeah, that's kind of true. They're all wild. Well, draw first blood. No! No way! I'm not shaking his hand! You're shaking his hand! No, I'm not! Yes, you are. Oh, obey or be banished from the party. Do you want to be banished? Some Game of Thrones shit. <laughs> we're going to get Lucas. And then, we're going to find Eleven. Fuck. Dude, these fucking transitions. They do that so much. But it, it blends and seem- It's all, like, seamless and it blends really well, though, so. Oh, 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 fuck, fuck, fuck. Yeah. Oh, she's not even there. <laughs> Oh shit. Her mom's gonna be like, why the fuck are you leaving with Steve? Why'd you sleep over and blah blah blah? <gasps> hey bestie. We couldn't agree on what path to take, so we split up the party, and those trolls took us out one by one, and it all yep. went to shit, and we were all disabled! Exactly. D D. Pretty sure you, that's a D D reference. You it was an accident. An accident? Uh, an accident or not. Admit it, it was a little awesome. <laughs> That's fucked. She's a weapon! Do you seriously want to fight the Demogorgon with your wrist rocket? That's like R2-D2 going to fight Darth Vader! <laughs> no, no shot Vader could kill R2. No shot. He'd look right at him and be like, That's my best friend, bro. No way. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Isn't this- I'm pretty sure this is when she finds all the Eggle Waffles and she like steals them or something. Right. Because it wants you. Hmm? It's calling you. So don't turn away from it this time. No, bro, that shit will probably kill her. Is your mom here? <laughs> your dad? Mouth breather. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the way she was looking at her, she's like, bitch, who the fuck are you? <gasps> yeah. Young lady. You know you have to pay for those. Hey, stop, stop right there! Thief! Thief! What? Oh my god, yeah. This fool's hella annoying. So she just assumed she was gonna steal him before she even walked out of the aisle. Shake my head. Terry, to tell you anything, you're about five years too late. Hmm. What about your daughter, Jane? If there's anything that you could tell us yeah. about when she was taken. The expression when she mentioned Jane. What's wrong with her? I told you, you're wasting your time. Is she not able to talk anymore? Okay, that was the dude who went to the school. Sometimes your total obliviousness just blows my mind. Is Lucas, he's probably ca trying to catch up to them. Or he's going on his own. I get it. I didn't get here until the fourth grade. 
He had the advantage of living next door, but none of that matters. What matters is that he is your best friend. Mm-hmm. Pull on your logic, because you're my best friend, too. Hell yeah, Mike. Oh, fuck. She's just watching them? Psychedelics. LSD, mostly. And then they'd strip her naked and put her in these isolation tanks. Oh, fuck. That's that's literally what they just did to Eleven. So are they fucking giving Eleven LSD and psychedelics, too? Not like they were forcing her to do any of this stuff. The thing is, though, is that she didn't know she was pregnant at the time. Who? Jane. So that's... Okay, so that's why Eleven has these powers. Do you have any pictures of her? I don't think you guys understand. Terry miscarried in the third trimester. Oh, oh, never mind. It was at 11. I was going to say, they just suggested that 11 was her daughter, but never confirmed it, so... It's like, Jane is real. Like, she's going to come home someday. So she's special. Born with abilities. No. Yeah, no, their daughter has to be 11. <laughs> You guys look scared, actually. <laughs> I mean, it's all make believe. So, I, okay, mm, well. What kind of abilities? It has Telepathy, to be like. Yep. Telekinesis. <laughs> shit you can do with your mind. That's why the big bad man stole Jane away. Yeah, no, he literally did. Off fighting the commies. You know, the doctors all say it's a coping mechanism. Okay. From the hospital, doctors and nurses all confirmed that she miscarried. Yeah, but that could have been covered up. Right? Exactly. Dude, okay, everything I, I was just about to say, they literally said it right before I was going to say it. So, I don't want to talk over them and, you know, miss something. So, but yeah, they faked, you know, they're like, oh, her daughter was, had a, she had a miscarriage. So her daughter was never born, even though she was, but they fit, she had a special ability, so they took her away and just was like, oh, miscarriage. Oh, yeah, you need that shit. You probably need that. <laughs> yeah, he's like, what the fuck are you guys doing? What do you need all this shit for? What are you kids doing with all this? Yeah. Oh wait, dude, that fool is an Ozark. That was the dude who owned the titty bar, and that Marty fucking stole for. Marty finessed him for his strip club. Pretty sure. It's like episode four of season one. And hey, dance. Oh. Can't wait to see your movie. Oh no! Wait, what? What movie? Did Steve fucking record? Them? What? Oh. It's a movie poster. Wow. Did Steve really fucking do that? It's probably Steve's friend who did that. No way Steve fucking did that. A lying slut now. Speak of the devil. Hi. Oh my god. I fucking hate his friend. Ding, ding, ding. Does she get a prize? Finish the sentence. <sighs> Fuck you, Steve. Nancy, just walk away. Fuck Steve. Go to hell, Nancy. Yeah, fuck you. Dude, let's just leave. You know what, Bart? I'm actually kind of impressed. I always took you for a queer, but I guess you're just a little screw up like. God. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that house is full of screw ups. You know, I guess I shouldn't really be so. Dude, shock him in the face, please. Mom, I mean, I'm not even Jonathan, surprised what happened to your brother. It. I'm sorry, Come I on, have to turn do around. Shut up. The Come on, I feel it. I feel it. Oh, that was fucking clean, Jonathan. Yes. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. Take his ass, man. No, come on, Jonathan. You got this. Ah. Oh, we got him again. Get out of here. Oh, fuck. Oh. Oh, oh, Jonathan. Oh, fuck. Why is there a cop? Why is this cop here? What the fuck? Dude, Jonathan is beating his fucking ass. Oh. Damn. Dude, that just went to. That wouldn't. 
side that went sideways so fucking fast. Holy shit. Jonathan look Jonathan B is fucking ass. Like damn. <laughs> I think this is where Steve's like, character arc takes a fucking left turn. I appreciate it. <laughs> yep, sorry, I couldn't be of more help. Aw, poor Terry. <laughs> Joyce knows Terry's telling the truth. She feels it. She can just feel it. We're gonna find him. Yeah, like, Terry found her daughter. Oh, fuck. 12 years she's been looking for. When she shows up at Benny's five nights ago, which means we got a chance. Ooh, yep. Chance. You know what I would give for a chance? You know what I would give? Just for a chance of finding her. Damn. His own daughter. It's Johnson Byers. Oh, fuck. You haven't seen Joyce, have you? <laughs> no. <laughs> Do you think we'll be out of here soon? You, yes. Him, no. Yeah, no, sweetie. No. Well, how long are you going to keep him? You and your boyfriend have big plans, do you? He's yeah. not my boyfriend. I think you better tell him. What? Only love makes you that crazy, oh. sweetheart. Yeah. And that damn stupid. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it was not like he did it because he's in love with her. It's because like, Steve was just poking him and just pushing him and saying hell of shit, so... It's not like he did it for her. It's not like he even really assaulted the police officer. He was going to go punch Steve. And I guess like as he pulled his hand back, he hit the police officer or something. <laughs> or in the waffles. <laughs> oh, dude, those are fucking frozen too. Oh, I guess they're defrosted, but that's still... Ew. Oh, you hear Mike? Help! Oh, fuck. <laughs> hey there, frog face. Oh, this was a fucking switchblade. Yeah, bro. He has, a, he has a knife. I'm not fighting him. Fuck that. He has a knife. I'm out of there if I'm them. Hey, oh, no. If anything, what I'm doing is I'm waiting until they're close. I'm throwing my fucking bike at them. <laughs> and then I'm running. Yep, he's there. He made it. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. That, f yeah, okay, yeah, that fool works for them, yep. Dude, he checked out the, the radio in the school. Shake my head. Shit! Yeah, I'm throwing rocks at them. What the, you gotta be fucked up. <laughs> Mike. Mike. <laughs> Oh, bro, what are you gonna do? Slit his fucking throat? Something to me? Some nerdy science shit to make me do that? You mean piss your pants? <laughs> and she squeezed your tiny bladder with her mind. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Help him lose the rest of his baby teeth. God. Let him go! I'll let him go. Sure. But first, it's your turn. Dude, this kid fucking pisses me off, dude. Wet yourself. No, fuck you. Jump. Oh, toothless here gets an early trip. Bro, no, they were, no. Fucking Hopper was talking to the other officer. You're dying if you jump off that. What the fuck? Yeah, no, fuck. Yeah, no shot you're surviving that. Hopper was talking about it. He was like, I really don't. Troy, how this is a good idea, man. Yeah. Dentist's office opens in five. Four. Watch, he's going to do it, and then Eleven's going to catch him. Fuck, he actually did it. Dude, Mike's a loyal ass friend. Oh, yep, I love him, caught him. Oh, I was really hoping she'd have to fuck uh, like a waffle in her hand. <laughs> Damn. Oh, oh, she just broke this fool's arm. Oh. Go. Yeah, get the fuck out of here. Dude, imagine she pulled up and she just had like a box of waffles in one hand and she just didn't <laughs> <she just went. laughs> You hear me? She'll kill you, you son of a bitch! She'll kill you, you hear me? Oh no, oh no. Uh, don't touch it. Yeah. 
Yeah, that shit's fucking terrifying, dude. Oh, she's tweaking. Oh, oh, she's breaking out of that. Holy fuck. I opened it. <gasps> yeah. I'm the monster. <laughs> no. No, you're not. Oh, no, you're not the monster. You saved me. Do you understand? No, but she opened the gate originally, so if it wasn't for her. I guess she means that Will never would have been taken if it wasn't for her. <sighs> this fucking pedophile. They're heading home. They know that that the other kid, that Mike and Dustin are with um Elle, so. All right. All right. That was season one, episode six. Okay. So that was Stranger Things season one, episode six. So Steve caught Nancy and Jonathan hanging out. You know, he kind of, it's, he's crazy for pulling up at like random times unannounced. Like that never could be me. I never, never, but he caught them hanging out together and he just assumed, oh yeah, they're fucking she cheated on me or whatever so you know and so fast forward through the episode a little bit he he basically spray painted i'm he spray painted on the movie on the movie poster that nancy is a whore or like a like as a slut or whatever and it's like okay that's fucked up like dude how could you be that salty and do that like i i personally i don't understand that i like like i'd be pretty i'd be pretty fucking pissed if i thought the same thing too but I would never do that. I don't know. But it led to a fight between Steve and Jonathan, which was actually really satisfying because Steve was basically bullied the fuck out of Jonathan. You know, it was kind of it was kind of justified the last time when he broke like broke his camera and tore up the pictures. Okay, that's that's pretty justified. You know, but like this time, no, fuck Steve. Like, so, mm, feel kind of bad. Like, I do feel kind of bad because he is pretty damn hurt. But he didn't have to do what he did. You know, and. And okay, and antagonizing Jonathan afterwards, like, okay, that, yeah, that's too far, you know, so Jonathan is justified, but now he's in jail. So we'll see what happens with that. And then Hopper and Joyce found Terry, who has a daughter named Jane, right? Who Jane, so Terry fully believes that Jane was born and she has abilities, but they they covered it up and said she had a miscarriage and her daughter was taken away from her so that's really that's honestly really sad to see because you know it seemed like terry was brain dead at this point you know because all the experiments because all the experimenting they did on her but the experimenting produced 11 because of it gave her the abilities so but yeah it kind of seems like she's brain dead now so she can't speak she can't do anything really and she and she's been looking for Eleven for the last 12 years because she still fully believes, no, she's alive. She is out there. She is there. Eleven does have a mother. And that's pretty sad to see, though, like how she is now. So Joyce was a little discouraged because she realized Terry's been looking for Eleven for the last 12 years and hasn't found her, hasn't had any success. And it's like Hopper was like, there's still a chance she will's out there now and then hopper it was like it really hit when he was like i would give anything just to have a chance because we know he lost his daughter so it's like damn like yeah would well, yeah look at it that way you know so no they're not giving up no no not even close but then and then it seemed like lucas went off and did his own thing go look for the gateway by himself and he it looks like he found it but like he didn't find the gateway exactly he found like the building it was in and the laboratory and the gates and everything and he saw what like he saw what was kind of going on he was like okay that's fucking sus troy and his dumbass friend pulled up on mike and dustin and i i fucking hate those kids dude oh my god they're so fucking annoying i fucking hate troy he's so annoying he kind of, but he kind of looks like that the kid whoever's playing troy looks like the kid who played greg in diary of, of a whippy kid kind of looks like him you know but anyway so but then 11 came through saved mike's fucking life and fucking broke troy's arm fuck that kid like 
I swear to God, bro, he better not come back. <laughs> like, once his arm's healed, he better not pull up on them again in, like, a cash or something. <laughs> like, leave us the fuck alone, bro. But then it was also really sad when Eleven was like, I opened the gate. I'm the monster you're looking for. It was like, damn. Like, she, see she sees herself that way because she let the monster out. And because she's the one that opened it, she sees herself as the monster. And it's like, damn. So, like, if it wasn't for her, Will never would have been captured. Never would have been abducted by the monster. So, it's like, damn. That kind of hurts. That hits pretty fucking hard. Damn. So, yeah. Comment down below what you thought about this episode. Down below in the comments. And if you liked the video, like the video. And thanks for watching.